Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Bitcoin Report for Monday, September the 19th. And just starting with Ethereum first, we're looking at wave one and two and wave three and four, and then moving down for wave five. Now, I may have wave five here a little bit conservative. It's not like a long distance from that point, is it, you know? So um, if wave three was this length here, then we can expect wave five to be smaller. I mean, obviously that takes us down to zero, which is, um, oh, there's a lot of folks saying that um, <clears throat> everything will go to zero. Um, but uh, we don't need to listen to that too much. But um, yeah, I mean, it would, first of all, you know, we'd need to take out this low here. So if this is correct, then um, then we'd probably, well, we'd, it'd be anywhere from 500 to 600 probably, you know. I mean, I'm not quite sure. Uh, just have to count the waves as we go. Now, is there a chance we can move up from here? You know, the stochastics is pulling down here, you know. Uh, so it's possible that, um, you know, it's overstretched at the moment. The market is at the 61.8%, you know, from this low to high here. And we could look at it as, as an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here. Um, it's not really in line with the um, the rest of the world. And, you know, they've all been sort of tuned in and, and running together uh, at this point. So it's still a good chance, you know, I mean, when, you know, we've been calling it down, at, you know, for a while now, but I have to say there is, there is probably one chance that this could go up from here. It's not, it's not, um, it's not out of the, uh, you know, it's not out of the ordinary, so to speak. But um, let's just assume for a moment, this is the 61.8%. We'll take that down to the, say, 1300. That would be fine at that point. That's the closest, largest number. So what we could say is that if the 1300 became the retested resistance, then it's likely that we would come down further, wouldn't it? You know, so uh, the... The other number here, the 1500, we can see that it's been it's been retested a little bit, hasn't it? You know, uh, and it's checked and it's come down further. It does look like there's sort of five waves coming down here, so we could also get a bounce, you know, from that point and then come down further. That's what we're sort of looking for with um, uh, with stocks in a way. We're looking for well, we have one count with stocks that would give us. Um, down for one, coming back for two, and then down, coming down for three, four, and five. So that would bring us down. You know, it's very common for the third wave to be at the previous high or the previous low. So having that down here wouldn't be out of the question either. So, uh, yeah, um, but just generally speaking, you know, unless Ethereum is going to do something different from Bitcoin and uh, and the tech stocks, then, you know, the, the trend is still to the downside so far. But we'll see. But that's where that sits. So that means Bitcoin's much the same as well. So just on this daily chart here from the top here, we've got wave one and two and three and four here. And uh, then just... Uh, edging lower really so we've got one and two and then we're looking down further so we're looking for wave three here and we're looking for five waves between two and three uh, and then we'll have four and five down here I mean even that's a little bit short to be honest you know when you look at things if you look at um, say from 25,000 down to 10,000 as a trend you know and then compare that to well wave one here it doesn't really it's not much, is it? And then wave two here, that's not much, is it? So is it possible for, you know, if this count is right, and what I mean by right, if that's wave four, um, then even coming down to 10,000 is a little bit short on, isn't it? A bit light on. But uh, yeah, so, you know, could it be 5,000? Could it be 8,000? Yeah, of course, you know, so we just need to take things step by step. And uh, is it possible for it to move up from this point? Well, we've got wave one here and an A and a B and a C for wave two here. But what about if this was reversed? So that means that this wave one would need to be up here for that. That's possible. But it would certainly need to, to move back up off that low at this point. So 
just drilling into this particular, you know, I mean, I like to be hopeful, you know, I mean, I've, I've got Bitcoin myself, you know, um, I, 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 to be honest, I don't really care where it goes, you know, wherever it goes is good, you know, that's, everything is good, basically, <laughs> that kind of, um, that kind of attitude to a point. So, uh, yeah, so let's just get in a little bit more data here. So we've been looking down, down, counting down here. There's probably different ways to count it down, but it served our purpose. We had two counts to the upside and uh, this one became the obvi obvious one. So, yeah, the market really hasn't let go of this, you know, when you consider all of this here, it hasn't really let go of this number yet. Yes, it has just tested it then and and hasn't quite made a new low yet, but looks like it will. Um, so we could probably start bringing this down here for one down here and, and two here, unless I've made a mistake and we need to put wave two over here with some sort of A wave, B wave and C wave and then down. But uh, either way, for the next session or two, um, while the NASDAQ is pushing up, uh, doing a corrective wave two uh, for the NASDAQ, then it's possible for this to do the same as well. So I don't think we're going anywhere for the next session or two. Do you know we're going to stay around this 20,000? <clears> we're going to be staying in the range from uh, into this range here. And I just think let's just allow it to mature a little bit first, you know. I could even put wave one over here and then have this as one and two here, and then coming down for the third wave. There's a couple of ways I can see this occurring. Um, but I think let's just give it a little bit of uh, bit of time. Um, obviously, there will be a little bit of support on the current low here for that. But you would have to think that, um, is that, is that the current low at the moment? Um, yeah, let's just see how that goes. But um, it'll be something like this anyway. It'll be some sort of, maybe maybe it'll move. That move there looks corrective. Like it looks like it's got overlapping wave structures. It can push up, but still be corrective. Um, it'll probably come down a bit and then push up. <clears throat> but it's not going to go in the next session or so. It's not going to go anywhere outside of the 20,000 bound 19 to 21 in that sort of little range there for a while. So let's just allow it to mature here and uh, then then we'll pick up the pieces. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it's possible to look at this as an impulse wave to the upside and then an A wave and a B wave and a C wave to the downside here, but it doesn't really have the right look and feel about it. Do you know what I mean? It, it, you could do it, but doesn't really have the right look and feel about it. And we've got, uh, we've got, uh, you know, the US stock market uh, heading lower, um, but it's in a rally at the moment as well. So if you have a look at US stocks or the indices, you'll see that we're looking for a, a, a wave two rally. It could be in green or it could be in blue. It doesn't really matter, but we're expecting an ABC rally and we're, we've got the A wave and um, we haven't got the B or the C yet, but they're, um, let's just have a little look at the NASDAQ while we're here then. Yeah, so this will give you a bit of an idea. So with the NASDAQ, I'm thinking we've got wave one here, or we can, this is just another little count here, we'll shoot in the breeze on wave or wave one here. So basically an A wave, a B wave and a C wave back up to here. Worst case scenario, back up here further just to trick everybody and suck the balls in and then drop. So after this move here, you know, like Bitcoin really is about here at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> in a funny odd way. So when you compare those two, like we can just push this over to here for a moment and then push this over to here, bring this across here. So this has come down to here and, and sort of done this bit here, I suppose. Yeah, I supp oh, yeah, I suppose that's that there too then, isn't it? So, but it's, this Bitcoin is weaker, isn't it? it has, it's come down, it's really testing those lows there. It hasn't tested the lows on the NASDAQ here just yet. Um, but we're looking, anyway, we're looking for some sort of ABC back into this green wave to here. And worst case scenario, back up into this block of uh, supply here for wave two here, and then a move down from that point. So a couple of different uh, scenarios there, we just need to be uh, aware of. Um, but the idea really is just to short new lows. And um, yeah, so if you if I was going to short this here, I would be waiting for this to finish off down here and I'll wait for a retest back up here and then I'd short the lows here, but I'm not shorting it. So um, I'm not doing the futures contracts on this, but um, 
yeah anyway that's its swing rain for the short short period of time um, we could look at uh, this this top and bottom here for that so yeah anyway the 50 60 percent is just above that there so that's probably the worst thing that could happen at this point is come back to that point but you know for the fact that it's come down this far already um, and, the, and the Nasdaq hasn't done that then it's just showing you how weak Bitcoin is at the moment so <clears throat> I could pretty confidently say that uh, the sellers are in control of Bitcoin even though lots of people like myself holding Bitcoin and not selling it that's um, you know that's a big story across the Bitcoin board in a way um, but the sellers they're still in control of the market so that supply hasn't been sponged up yet alrighty I'll just leave it at that cheers